I'm KP, a marine biologist who specializes in marine mammals. We're here on the coast of Oregon and I'm taking you behind the scenes at one of the most incredible aquariums in the world. Oregon Coast Aquarium, home to over 60,000 animals across nearly 400 species, including sharks, rays, jellyfish, and marine mammals like seals and sea otters. Oh, that's cute. Because I work with these same animals, it's no surprise that I spent most of my time behind the scenes with OCA's marine mammalogy team. Yes. Do not kill the sea otters for their fur. Yeah. Like Earl. Yeah. And this sea otter, that's Yaquina, the sea otter that we had in rehab. It has angel wings. Yeah. But let's start from the beginning. I arrived at the aquarium hours before they opened to the public. I first spoke with their communications and marketing specialist, Courtney. The Oregon Coast Aquarium's mission is to inspire ocean conservation. We've been ocean advocates for 30 years and we want to build that next generation of ocean advocates. Courtney led me to the food prep area where marine mammalogist Becca was hiding multivitamins in a sea otter shrimp. I feel like ours would pick those out of the shrimp. Some they really they do it occasionally. Oswald is the worst about his vitamins. He'll pick them out a lot. Yeah. Then I met the otters. Oswald, Schuster, <laughs> and their youngest addition, Earl. <laughs> All three were rescued by Monterey Bay Aquarium and ultimately deemed non-releasable. Senior marine mammalogist Megan was an integral part of Earl's rehabilitation and I spoke with her about Earl's rescue story. Two years ago, uh, around May, he stranded off the coast of California and unfortunately his mom was nowhere to be found and he wasn't old enough to take care of himself. So he was brought to the Monterey Bay Aquarium for his rehabilitation stint. And although they have a really cool uh, sea otter surrogacy program where they use their permanent resident females to help surrogate uh, wild pups at Strand to get them back out into the wild. They didn't have an available surrogacy mother for Earl, so they knew he needed to be uh, placed under human care, and we had space for him here at our aquarium, so we were happy to take him. Well, what do you think about all of this? What do you think about all of this? And it was a really exciting opportunity for me. Earl's the first uh, sea otter pup I've gotten to work with and raise. Really the moment that was amazing is when I was grooming him one time and he just passed out and he was on his back with his little paws up in the air. And he was so, so cute. <laughs> it was so sweet. <laughs> Curator of marine mammals, Brittany Blades, then introduced me to a harbor seal named Skinny. Skinny's 48. Oh my God. Did you say 48? Yeah. Skinny is the oldest known living harbor seal in North America. She is turning 48 years old on June 1st. <laughs> she looks great. She's been in the field longer than we have. Yes, she has, <laughs> yeah. She's been alive longer than we have. <laughs> she was found stranded off the coast of Washington and was actually living at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium before coming to Oregon Coast Aquarium when we opened in 1992. Skinny is just amazing i mean she is so healthy energetic you would never guess that she is the oldest living harbor seal on record Skinny is my favorite <laughs> i can't believe you have an almost 50 year old harbor seal i know it's just an honor to be able to take care of her and give her a home to yeah just live <laughs> live yeah. on for, her. for however long, long she's right? gonna do it for <laughs> yeah her. I think it really speaks to quality of care too when you have animals that are clearly outliving their wild counterparts by like three times probably in yeah. her case. Yeah. You don't look a day over 20 skinny. <laughs> Just like skinny, most of Oregon Coast Aquarium's marine mammals are rescued animals who were deemed non-releasable by the NOAA. Oh my God. Take Rosa, for example, the California sea lion, seen here working with assistant curator of marine mammals, Ashley. Rosa was rescued and released three times after becoming emaciated and stranded. 
She was ultimately deemed non-releasable for failing to thrive. But she's thriving now at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. Good. Oh, nice one. Good. I spoke with Ashley about one of their more unique rescue stories that happened during a sea otter survey. We were kind of finishing up our surveying because the weather was turning and Brittany heard this like little cry and then Brittany looked behind her and she saw a little fur seal right below us because we were kind of up on this really cool cliff area and so you could see a huge area and he had just popped up right down there and was crying and when we looked closer he had um, an entanglement around his neck but we had one bar of cell service so we called and we got the permission to actually help this animal since we did have people who knew what they were doing yeah so Brittany went in and restrained his head I grabbed his body and then um, Dr. Larson went in and actually clipped off the entanglement and it kind of looked like the end of a gardening glove like but it was stretchy it's a little guy yeah and he was really tiny but he still had a lot of fight in him yeah. which you know made us feel like hopefully yeah you know he'll be able to recover from this a boy. I was blown away by this facility their animals receive exceptional care as you can clearly see and this is quite simply the best sea otter habitat I have ever seen. And I've seen my fair share. I cannot tell you how far this habitat exceeds the requirements for housing sea otters. This is what I wanna see from all zoos and aquariums. OCA doesn't just meet the bare minimum needs for their animals. They go above and beyond and far exceed the gold standard by every metric. And the facility itself is beautiful, just like the surrounding coastline. It looks like the aquarium grew out of the coast rather than intruding into the space. One of my favorite things about the aquarium is that you are truly in Oregon's nature. You have the beautiful grounds, you have that native fauna and flora. You can go to the estuary overlook and see herons and egrets and osprey. Yeah. It's inspiring. It's beautiful. Oregon Coast Aquarium is also a nonprofit organization. That means they often need donations for their conservation efforts and their rescue facility which is why I've decided to do a live charity fundraiser for this incredible aquarium. I'll drop more details on that in my next video, but for now, as always, head on down to the descriptions for more information, and let me know what you think down in the comments. Stay tuned, big things are about to happen. <laughs>